Hi everyone, I am Brittany from Brittany Loves Reading and this is my January TBR. This month seems to be the month of chunky fantasies and book club, book read-alongs, all the things. That is what this month is, for me at least. So I'm going to jump in. I think there's about 10 books, which is about normal for me to have on a TBR. And there's chunky ones on there too, which is seeming to be somewhat of a normal thing now. I don't know how that happened, but let's jump into the stack. The first book is for my book club with Kelsey from Reads with Kelsey over on Instagram. The link to the Discord for this is down in the description. And our January book club pick is In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. This is set at a, this is a secluded setting thriller set at a Hindu, which is basically the British version of a bachelorette party. It follows Lenora. She has been invited to this hen party by someone she hasn't spoken to in years, but decides to go anyway to this glass house. It's secluded away and she goes 48 hours later, she wakes up in the hospital with the knowledge that someone has died. I cannot wait to jump into this with the book club and have discussions with everyone in the Discord. And again, if you wanna join us, the link's down below. This month for the Besties Book Club, we are reading Catherine House. The Besties Book Club is a book club here on YouTube hosted by myself, Rainy from Rainy Blue Reads and Neva from Reading with Neva. Both will be linked down below. We will be having a live show for this on, I believe, January 25th. If that date is wrong, I will put it here somewhere, the actual date, over on Rainey's channel. Catherine House, I'm honestly not really sure what it's about, and I read the whole synopsis, and I'm still not really sure what it's about. And I've heard it's weird, so maybe that's why I'm not sure. I know it's dark academia. I know it follows Inez and her time at the school at Catherine House. And that's that's all I really know. So I'm going to read it this month. If you want to know my thoughts and if you want to read it with us, come to the live show on either January 25th or whatever date I put in this video. A couple weeks ago, I did a library haul and one of the books that I got was A Thousand Ships by Natalie Haynes. And then Ashley from Ashley's Media Addiction announced this as the January book club pick for the Recreate Book Club. So I just decided I have the book from the library. I've obviously been meaning to read it. So I kind of put it aside to add to my January TBR. This is a retelling of the women of Troy and the time of conflict between the Greeks and the Trojans that lasted about 10 years. I do love Greek retellings and I'm just starting to dip my toe into them. I still haven't read some of the most popular ones like Song of Achilles and Circe. How I have not read those, I don't know. Hopefully this year but I want to read more and I found this at my library, grabbed it, and then it ended up being a book club pick. So perfect on my January TBR goes. And the last book that I have for a read along is For Blood and Ash. This is for the read along that Hannah Blackwell is hosting. I will link it down below. They are doing a whole read along of the For Blood and Ash series and for January, it is the first book from Blood and Ash. I have never read for Blood and Ash, so I'm excited to finally pick this up. It's been on my shelf for a while. So I know this is a fantasy romance following Poppy. She cannot be touched, she cannot be looked upon, she can't be spoken to until the day of her ascension. Enter Hawk, who is a bodyguard to protect Poppy until the ascension, and I'm guessing since this is a fantasy romance, some things go awry and some, some romance happens. This is the first of three chunky books on my TBR. Would you like to see the other two? I'm finally doing it. I'm finally reading Babel by R.F. Kwan. I need to read this book. I went out to buy this, specifically like right after it came out, to drop my entire TBR and read this book, and I didn't. And the reason for that was I really felt I needed the audiobook for this. This follows Robin Swift. 
Um, he is orphaned in Canton and is brought to Oxford and Britain by a professor of Oxford, particularly the Tower of Babel, which is in Oxford University and houses the translation department at Oxford University to come work and do something called silvering, which is basically writing words on silver that can have power. This is a fantasy. It's a dark academia fantasy. That is all that I really can tell you about it without having read it because it seems complicated. And that's why I felt I needed the audiobook. I had heard from other people that there was a lot of other languages in this book and I just felt like the audiobook was something that I needed to read this. I finally gotten the audiobook from my library so I can now officially read Babel. And I'm going to, and I'm very excited about this. I love Dark Academia. This concept sounds interesting. I've heard amazing things about this book. I'm so glad I'm getting it on this TBR. It's another chunker, but I'm very excited to finally read Babel. Not to be outdone by either of those chunky fantasy novels. I still have one more, which is the chunkiest novel on my TBR for January, and that is Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. I have not read Priory yet. The sequel is coming out, well, the prequel, and I want to read this, so I'm not too behind in this very chunky fantasy series. I think it might only be two books, but I thought it was only going to be one book until the prequel was announced, so we'll see what happens. This is a doorstop, but it has dragons, so good times all around. This follows Queen Sabrin the Ninth, where she must conceive a daughter to protect her realm from destruction, but assassins are getting closer to her door, and one of her ladies-in-waiting uses forbidden magic to basically protect the queen. The synopsis is not very big on the back of this, but I know it is going to be an amazing fantasy novel. I will be very surprised if I don't fall in love with this fantasy world. I have very high expectations. And did I mention there's dragons? The rest of these books on the TBR are not as chunky. They are definitely more normal book-sized books because I think three huge fantasy novels are enough for one month. I'll be reading The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Oseman. I've been wanting to start this series for a while. It sounds like a really cute, cozy series. It now has, I believe, three books out in it or two have been released and the third one has been announced. Something like that. So I need to catch up on this series. I need to get caught up. Cozy series can get to be very long series. So I would like to get caught up and then just have to kind of read them as they come out. And I'm not so far behind where that's not possible. This is set in a peaceful little retirement village where four unlikely characters meet together in the jigsaw room to discuss unsolved cases. And what part of that is something you don't want in your life? Like, I, I'm, I need to read this. It sounds like it's going to just be a fun time and I can't, I'm so glad I got it onto this TBR. This next book was recently read by my dear friend Neva and she loved it. So I am finally gonna read it and it is Dial A for aunties. And it says, what happens when you mix one accidental murder with 2000 wedding guests and then toss in a possible curse in three generations of immigrant Chinese Indonesian family? You get four meddling Asian aunties coming to the rescue. That just sounds so fun. I know Neva gave this five stars and I cannot wait to jump into this sometime in January. The next book is My Ex-Life by Stephen McCulley. This is my January buzzword for the month for the word life. It follows David. His boyfriend just broke up with him. His rental is being sold so he can no longer live in it and his life is somewhat falling apart. All of a sudden he gets a phone call from his friend Julie. He's known Julie since high school but they have not spoken in years. But Julie has an Airbnb and David can come stay in the Airbnb at her home as long as he helps with some of the maintenance. David decides to do this. It kind of starts to see what life would have been like if he would have made different choices. The last book on this TBR is Another Cozy. I have been wanting to read more cozies lately. I've been seeing them so much on sprints being read by so many people and they sound so fun and I want to read more cozies this year. 
So I put the first book in a series on my TBR, and that is Death by Darjeeling. This book is T for three, but I'm only reading the first book this month, Death by Darjeeling. It is based around a tea shop and the two owners of a tea shop, and they somehow stumble upon murder often. I don't necessarily think murder in tea shop all the time, but in this world, it's apparently very common. This is a bind up, like I said, of the first three books, but I only plan on reading the first one this month. You never know. I may end up reading all three, but my plan is just the first one. If I do read more, then that's just a bonus. Okay, that's the end of my January TBR. We have made it. That is January. How is it a new year already? I do not know. This is the last video I'm filming in front of the Christmas tree. I feel like this went so fast, but I am excited for a new year and all the new plans that I have. Thank you so much for sticking around all of last year. It was my first four months on booktube and I've had a great time. And I hope you join me for the next 12 months of 2023. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.